I'm Thomas Wang from Vanderbilt University. I'm joined here by Dr. Terry Minolio from the National Human Genome Research Institute. Uh, we've just had a very interesting session this afternoon on the role of genomics in cardiovascular health. Uh, some of the themes that emerged from this uh, uh, related to the important role of genetics in the future of how we treat individuals in this country around and around the world, and also on how uh, population research is changing as we enter uh, studies that have new models of engaging participants in genetic and precision medicine research. And one nice example of that is the Precision Medicine Initiative, uh, which has been recently launched by the federal government. And I wanted to start by asking Dr. Manolio to tell us a little bit about the PMI initiative. Sure. So this is something that has, has been initiated actually by the president, uh, who recognized the need for research that would um, kind of change the way that we do research and enable us to use genomics as well as other information about an individual in improving their health and their, their medical care. Uh, so the idea is to recruit a million or more volunteers uh, across the country um, and ask them to give a fair amount of detail about themselves uh, in terms of their current health status, uh, what risk factors they have, what other concerns they might have, uh, as well as to undergo a brief physical examination, provide some uh, blood or, or other uh, specimens for analysis, um, and then give us access to their medical records if they're willing, um, and allow us to follow them over time through their, um, you know, through their ongoing medical care. And the idea then is to, is to try to find treatments in particular, but also diagnoses and, and preventive strategies that are much more individualized, because currently what we do is, is more or less, it's not one size fits all necessarily, but it is kind of geared toward the average patient and the average response, and yet we know everybody responds differently to, uh, you know, to individual drugs and, and treatments and that. So, so that's the idea behind it. It's just getting started right now in, a, in sort of a pilot phase, um, and we're hoping that it will grow into a, a much larger effort. Great. And can you speak a little more to the uh, expectation of how you think the PMI will influence future cardiovascular health in this country sure. and around the world? Yeah. Well, one of the things that, that we're really making a, a major focus of this is to engage participants in the design of the study and in, in its you know in, in its conduct and and also what gets reported back out so we want to be sure that people get the results of the study that are, are relevant to them so some people want all of the data that's collected on them they want to see how they fit on a spectrum of, of everyone uh, that's participating in the study and um, and we feel that that kind of engagement is is going to help not only you know give us better science but will also uh, empower people to make changes in their lives so that they can actually, you know, um, uh, adhere to more healthy lifestyles. They can share information about themselves and see how they're, they fit on, you know, on the spectrum of, of uh, other uh, people's, act, you know, activity, diet, whatever other health habits they're um, um, partaking in that are affecting their health and, and not. So, so our, our hope is that this will really empower people to use this information that would be fed back to them as, as you know, part and parcel of the study. Uh, we wouldn't do the study without giving information back, and that's the, the expectation. And, and I think we've, we heard a little bit about this in, the, in uh, the, this, the third talk in this session from the 23andMe company, which has been doing this very successfully, where they have you know, over a million people in, involved in, in their studies. Uh, it's not as clear uh, from that group whether they're actually changing their, their lifestyles and, and their health behaviors, uh, but that's something that, that we hope to study in the PMI. That's terrific. Thank you very much. Really exciting to hear about the PMI and uh, really look forward to hearing uh, about the study as it progresses. Great. Yeah. I look forward to it. <laughs>